A Chicago woman says she was duped by a tow company after her car accident last week, claiming that the tower held her car hostage while demanding more than $10,000 to return it. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live. And Megan, one expert you spoke with called this bill grotesque. Right, Joe and Marie. It was a pretty minor accident on DuSable Lakeshore Drive last week that left Elaine Kelly on the side of the road with her Toyota RAV4 leaking coolant. When a tow truck rolled up, they claimed to be affiliated with her and sure and everything would be covered but then she got a call from her insurance company Elaine Kelly says the tow company that took her car at the scene perfect timing towing was demanding $10,890 I really couldn't believe it it was absolutely insane Max Schultz owner of a cars auto body has reviewed thousands and thousands of tow bills over his business's 42 year history this was the most egregious chaser tow bill that I've seen in over four decades. Grotesque. Her insurer told Perfect Timing they'd compromise at $4,000, but the tower refused. That's when Elaine came here, the company's address listed on her paperwork, only to find out it belongs to a different trucking company. And that company says other upset customers and even police officers have come here looking for answers. Elaine filed a police report and ultimately a demand letter from her attorney got them to release the car for five grand. But Elaine says the car appears more damaged and the inside was ransacked. All my sunglasses that were in there are gone. Um, so your property was stolen? Correct, yeah. According to the Illinois Commerce Commission, the company was issued a license in July, and since then, the state has received 18 complaints. And in that short time, Perfect Timing's been cited 14 times. They were found guilty of two citations after failing to show up at a hearing. The others are still pending. Um, I was told it's unethical but not illegal, which was really surprising to hear. And Elaine said she's speaking out so other drivers don't fall victim. We reached out to the tow company for comment. We'll have more on their response coming up at 6. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Mm, well, that is frustrating, Megan. Thanks. We'll see you with more at 6.